Okay, uh, Chosen, I'm going to show you how to install um, in, uh, Reason. Uh, after you download, after you go to this site, well, let me see, maybe we could pull up the site. So after you go to the site, after you download Reason Companion, double click on it to open it up. Actually, I already installed it, but I'm just reinstalling it again. All right, so after you double click it, you open it up. Um, this should pop up. Go down here to My Reason, click that, and now you can download um, Reason 13. And uh, I'm assuming since you're on Mac, it's probably going to automatically assume that it's a Mac. That would make the most sense. And right here, it's uh, six gigs, look like. And it's gonna take nine minutes to install, so I'm gonna um, pause it until I'm gonna pause the video until it's done, and then we'll go through the rest of the process. Okay, uh, we're gonna pick up where we left off. All right, so it's downloaded. So uh, let's go to downloads, and uh, we're gonna open the file now. It downloaded as a zip file, so look like what I'm gonna need to do is unzip it. So let me. Uh, extract it now I don't know um, what it's going to do for your Mac um, but you know if you own a Mac you, you know how to unzip files or whatever the case may be or extract files so anyway I'm un unzipping this and it looks like it's going to be like six gigs large okay so it's winding down and now here we are it's unzipped so we have our sound banks channel and star 13 at exe and i guess these are um, files that is connected to the exe so i'm assuming these two files and i don't know why i act like i don't know what's going on but i actually don't but anyway i'm just going to double click and we're going to go ahead and and reinstall reason I had uninstall reason because it was uh, acting, acting a little funky. So, all okay, here we go, and we're gonna go through the process of installing reason. It already exists. Would you like to install to the folder? Anyway? Yes. Because I deleted it, so I don't know why I'm saying it already exists. But anyway, this new install is going to overwrite. Because my uh, reason was acting really slow. And reason traditionally... Reason traditionally is not as slow as it was. It was, it was just like I would do a function and it would just pause for 30 seconds. One at the time it got locked up, I had to restart. So I just decided to reinstall reason totally all together. Now, one thing I want to say about reason is reason used to be extremely stable, almost as if Mac, your Mac version should definitely, because you're on, on a Mac, Mac, Mac don't lock up and crap up like, like on windows. Windows just, windows is like, it's just inferior. You know, it just got, it just got major issues like Android. So, you know, Windows is what causes Reason to crash a lot. But Reason was the most, the absolutely most stable music software I ever used in my life. You know, I used Pro Tools, Cubase, Fruit Loops. Reason was always locked. But Reason kind of got this little weirdness is going on right now. So now that it's installed, let me go ahead and right click and run as administrator. And try to open it up. Well, the first time Reason starts, it's going to uh, start pretty uh, funky and clunky and slow because what it's trying to do is trying to gather up all the information that I got on my com on my computer. So it's um it's adding all the plugins, you know, all the little extra things that I purchased. Reason is looking for that right now. So the very 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 first time you run Reason. It may not take you this long, but it's going to take me this long because I got a lot of plugins, expensive plugins, cheap plugins, but I got a lot of them. Waves, Universal Audio, and things like that. So, what the first time running Reason is going to spend time 
So I'm going to go ahead and pause this. But before I pause, I'm going to let you know. It spends time looking for the plugins and things like that. Okay, so as you can see, it's opening up the song right now, ABC Animal, the last track that you and I worked on. And I got it programmed to where um, when I open up Reason, it automatically defaults to opening up the last song that uh, we worked on. Um, but I'm going to change that because uh, sometimes if the, the files is really large, and if the files is really large, then it's going to take a nice little time to open up. But anyway, we got it open, we got it installed, and this is the process of uh, downloading and installing. So we're going to move on to the next tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to record your um, first vocals and best practices, how to copy a hook and um, save it and, and give it to me so that uh, I can finish producing. And this will help me and you produce much, much more, much more faster. So um, I'm checking out, but I'll, I'll be um, checking back in shortly.